Throughout time, people across the world told each other tales of how they came to be, of heroes and monsters, romance and tragedy, death and rebirth. Mythology helped shape the ancient world, explaining the unexplainable. This is Mythology Unleashed. Centuries ago, in Ireland, lived a miser named Jack, a blacksmith by trade, but a cruel drunkard by reputation. He was a trickster, a con man, belligerent, unkind, and self-centered, granting him the nickname Stingy Jack. No one was safe from his wily schemes and cruel manipulations, not the priests of the church, nor the children of the schoolyard. Not a shred of humanity graced his body. Stingy Jack's infamy spread far and wide. So far, in fact, that tales of his schemes reached the lowest pits of hell and graced the ears of Satan himself. Upon hearing the despicable reputation of Stingy Jack, the devil could not believe so evil a man could exist and he put forth plans to meet him. One evening, while Jack was walking in the moors of the countryside, Satan posed as a dead man, hanging from a tree branch, and waiting for Stingy Jack to approach. When Jack came across the body, a deranged face with wide eyes and an evil grin stared back at him. In that instant, Jack realized his time was up, and that the devil had come to collect his soul. He asked the devil for a final request before departing. Satan, in a merciful mood uncharacteristic of himself, granted it. Jack told him that he wanted just one more drink before he had to depart the living world, and he took the devil to the nearest tavern. One drink turned into another, and then another, and another. When it was time for them to pay their tab, Jack casually turned to his new drinking buddy and persuaded him that, since he had magical powers, he could simply transform himself into a piece of silver to pay the tab. The devil obliged and shifted form, but instead of paying the barkeep, Jack shoved the coin into his pocket. Having been double-crossed, the devil fought to get out, but a crucifix in the pocket trapped Satan in the coin form. Jack made Satan a proposition. If he would leave Jack alone and let him live another decade, he would release him from the coin. Seeing no other option, Satan reluctantly agreed and the bargain was struck. Ten years later, Stingy Jack's amnesty had reached its limit. It was time to pay the devil his due. As with before, Jack asked his dark companion for a final request. He asked for an apple from a nearby tree to quell his hunger for the long journey. While Satan selected an apple, Jack quickly carved four crucifixes into the trunk of the tree, trapping the evil being within its branches. Stingy Jack had yet again gotten the better of the devil, and Satan yet again trapped and at Jack's mercy. Jack once again offered the demon his freedom, on the condition that Jack would not go to hell. And as with before, Satan had little choice but to submit to the con man's wishes. Stingy Jack continued the rest of his life safe in the knowledge that he outsmarted the devil, not once, but twice. And no matter what he would do from then on, he would not go to hell. The years passed, and Stingy Jack eventually passed away. Years of heavy drinking finally exacting their toll. 
The devil made good on his word, for Jack did not go to hell upon his death. But as Jack approached the gates of St. Peter, he was barred from entering. Despite his victories over Satan, Jack still led a deceitful life of cruelty, always drinking far in excess and abusing and tormenting all who crossed his path. Such a sinful soul would not be granted access to the kingdom of heaven. So Jack turned away and journeyed down to the entrance of hell. But Satan also refused Jack's entrance into his kingdom, both honoring their agreement and for revenge against his humiliations at Jack's hands. The way back was windy and very dark. Stingy Jack pleaded with the devil to at least provide him with a light to help find his way. Satan, as a final gesture, tossed Jack an ember straight from the fires of hell. To carry this burning ember, Jack found a turnip, hollowed it out, turning it into a makeshift lantern. Ever since, Stingy Jack's ghost could be seen wandering aimlessly around the Irish countryside. Whenever locals saw mysterious lights, they would say, that's just Jack of the Lantern. With Stingy Jack damned to wander the world until Judgment Day, the people of Ireland did not want his wicked spirit visiting their homes. So on October 31st, the day of the Celtic festival of Samhain, All Hallows' Eve, when the spirits of the netherworld could pass through to the world of the living, each home carved a menacing face into turnips and rutabagas, and prominently displayed them on their doorsteps with a burning candle to ward off Jack of the Lantern and other evil spirits. As time would pass, the turnips and rutabagas would be replaced by large pumpkins, and these would in turn take the name of Jack-o'-lantern in recognition of the man who outwitted the devil not once, but twice, and doomed to walk the world for all eternity.